What's up, YouTube? It's me, Rich, again. I just wanted to welcome you back to my channel. Thank everyone so far for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like, comment, share my videos. Let me know if I've helped you so far, what topics you want me to discuss. And before I start today, for my last uh, few videos, I've forgotten to shout out some people that are special to me. So today, I just wanted to make a note to shout out my friend Kristen. I call her Chris for short. She holds a very special uh, place in my heart. No, uh, I'm not in a relationship with her. She's just my friend. But she's proven to be one of my true friends. And the topic I'm going to be discussing today is be okay with being alone. And me and her have talked about this before, but I I love Kristen because, like I said, she's a true friend. If I was going through something, like, personal or I, was just, I wasn't living right, she always made sure to reach out to me and check on me to make sure I was okay. During my lowest moments, she's always been there for me. She doesn't judge me. She always... She always supports me in everything I do. She'll let me, she'll be honest with me and make, uh, help me improve and tell me when I'm not doing something okay to get my shit together. So, you know, like, that's my people, like, and yeah, she she's always there for me. So I just want to tell Kristen, I appreciate you. And if you ever need anything, let me know and when, when I'm, when I'm more successful, I'm, I'm going to always remember what you, you've done for me. Second person I want to shout out today is Patrick. Patrick R. He know who he is. Um, We met through my, my, my paid internship I was doing for IT program. And me and him, we just have good conversations together. He's conscious. We uh, talk about books we like to read for each other. So shout out to Patrick. I know... A month ago, maybe we always talked, but we talked for like three or four hours. And it was a really good conversation, so I just want to shout out to you too, man. So again, today the topic is going to be be okay with being alone. So in society, people everything set up for people to do things in pairs, go to the movies, go out to dinner, go out to parties, and a lot of people find themselves in situations where they're relying on a person to find happiness or they're with someone that they're really not happy with or that they're just they're with each other because they've been together so long that it's comfortable and they're afraid to start over and put themselves in that vulnerable position to fall in love again or they're afraid to be hurt and i say that you have to be comfortable with being alone and truly accepting yourself for who you are before you can be comfortable with someone else and accepting other people for how they are. A personal situation for me is I was just the last relationship I was in. I fell in love with this girl and you know, I probably, probably went got involved with her too quickly, too seriously. But after after the breakup, I was I was really I w I, w I was really hurt and I'm not gonna be afraid to admit that I was hurt. A lot of people look down on expressing your feelings and stuff, but that's not me. I was hurt. And I really felt some type of way about it because I thought that I was going to be with her for a lot longer than I was. And the problem with me being in the relationship with her was that I I fell in love with her and I loved her so much that it distracted me from my purpose and what I really need to be doing the work on myself and put me in a position to be successful. So I was investing too much time thinking about her, 
trying to be around her, going on dates and doing all that stuff. And I put that over me at the time, just wanting to start my business, focusing on myself, going to the gym, reading. And at the time, I really wasn't living right anyway. So that also has to do something that also contributes to my distraction. But after the breakup, I used that, the breakup as an excuse to be depressed and be sad and feel sorry for myself and feel like a victim when I should have really been using that as a motivation to better myself even more. When I look in the mirror every day, I know I'm going to be successful. I know every day I'm working on the necessary steps and doing what I need to do to put myself in a better position. But after the breakup, I was I was sad, I was depressed, and I wasn't I wasn't focused as much as I should be. And now I use that as a motivation to do to do better in everything I do. So that one day she's gonna regret us not being together. And I don't have any ill feelings for her or anything. I still I still love her. I still love I love everyone who's ever uh done me bad or done wrong by me. And I don't I don't ever hold any negative feelings towards anybody because that's just gonna hold you back and that's just gonna weigh you down. And you gotta get rid of all your old baggage before you can even progress into a new relationship. But you have to also realize that when you first start talking to somebody that they're they're gonna put on a a act and not show you who you really are. You're still on that honeymoon stage and once you get to a certain point, that's when they drop their guard and show you who you really are. So a lot of the people that you fall in love with are the people that they want you, they pretend to be for you to the real you in. Uh, but back to being alone, if you aren't happy when you're by yourself, that means you're not in good company. You should be your most content when you're by yourself because you don't have anybody but yourself to to feed you the energy that you're giving yourself. So you can't you can't be miserable by yourself. If you're depressed, you gotta go to the gym. You gotta surround yourself with people or things, not people, things that make you happy. You gotta pick up some new hobbies to distract your interest from the the current state that you're in. And a lot of people are getting out of relationships and they're wondering why they keep on attracting the same people. And it's because you are what you attract. And a lot of people have these, these shopping lists of shopping lists of characteristics and traits and financial situations they want people to be in, but they aren't that themselves. And you want to you want to attract a king or a queen when you're a peasant and you keep on saying oh i'm not oh i attract these ancient niggas i oh, i attract these ancient bitches blah 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 but i need you to look in the mirror yourself and ask yourself are you really shit yourself to be asking and demanding so much from a person that you can't even give them yourself and also a lot i i know with a lot of a lot of women they say, man, everyone just wants to fuck me, blah, blah, blah. I just want to be used for my body. Um, I'm not saying this is true in all cases, but look at your social media. How are you presenting yourself? How are you marketing yourself? And I'm going to do a, a video on your uh, personal brand later on. But a lot of these women complaining about this are seeking validation and compliments and likes on social media exposing the wrong things you see a woman on social media with her boobs all out her ass all out uh, and wondering why guys are trying to fuck her you're showing them you're not showing them anything else but your ass and your titties like what else are they going to see in that video except your body that you're you're clearly exposing to get validation and Looking for thirsty niggas to try to uh try to chase you, and I'm gonna do another video on 
why social media has certain people certain people stuck up and a lot of people need to be humble because what you what you put on social media isn't really you and what what you think you are because of what you you promote and all the thirsty people in your comments and your DMs that's that's not really what you are so again this was kind of a short video I gotta get into work soon but I just want to make sure I do uh I'm trying to do at least a video before work and after work every day so I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video make sure to have a good day stay positive don't let anyone get you in your feelings don't get your emotions involved and stay focused on your your purpose and your grind have a good day don't forget to subscribe like comment and share my videos and i'll see you again shortly